Hello everyone, this video is to review the Brix travel bag. This bag is very beautiful and I think it's one of the best devil bags that I've ever touched and looked at. Honestly, it fits so much for traveling and it's just very comfortable to travel with. So I wanted to share this bag with you. I have not seen this bag on in the US. I've only seen it in Italy and this is where I purchased this bag. So I purchased this bag from Rome. It was in the Porsche shop and that's how I got um, presented to this brand because I've never heard of it before that time. So when we walked in there, I saw that they had different sizes of this bag. And I think when I looked at this leather and how it's more of like a suede leather bag, I just fell in love with it from first sight. And this is why I decided to purchase it and I traveled with it multiple times. Let's get started with how it looks, just the outside looks of this bag. So first this bag comes with a travel strap. This is what it looks like. It's fabric. This is not leather, but that's better. It's adjustable. It has the bricks logo on it. So you can just attach it to the sides of this bag like this right here. You can assign it right here. Or you can travel with it just handheld, just like what I do. I just travel with it with the hands with no straps, but you have that option as well. So the the outside, the, the, the feeling of this bag is basically, it feels suede. And I know that it's leather, not only suede. So it, when you feel it, it's just like it has a suede look to it and it feels a little bit like leather, but the majority of it is leather and it has the outside zipper it also has a luggage tag that you can just um, keep on there you can add your name on it from the inside which is really nice the back of this bag which i think is like the most comfortable to travel with on top of a carry-on you can just slide this on top of your carry-on and this is how i travel with it i just slide this on top of my carry-on and you just roll with it. I love that option that you have on this bag. Um, the handles are leather, which is really nice. And the, the hardware is gold. Another nice feature that you can do with this bag is if you don't want it to look like this, you can just put these, you can clasp the sides to the side of the bag so it looks a little bit tinier. And this is the second look that you can travel with. So if you don't want it to look like this flat from this side, you can just have no corners basically, which I love both looks, but I keep it like that because it fits more. The other nice feature with this bag is that it comes with a lock and you have a code on it to code that. I have never used this lock, but it's really nice option to have um, if you have something valuable in your bag and if you, or if you're, if you're checking this bag in and you want to lock it, this is a nice option for that. This is some of the paperwork that it comes with the bag. You can see bricks made in Italy. It says that it's bricks.it. So I think it's bricks Italy. I have not seen, I've seen the brand bricks on Nordstrom.com. However, I have not seen the same exact model as this one. And I know that this one comes in different sizes because I've seen it in Rome in different sizes, but I decided to go with this side because I want this to be a personal item and not a carry on. So this is why I went with this. I can add the measurements to this bag in the description box just for reference, but I know that it comes in different sizes. Moving on to what fits inside of this bag. I just got back from a vacation in LA and this is the bag that I took with me. I took other, other designer handbags, but this is the bag that I traveled with and I love it because it just fits so much in here. And I usually travel with only a carry-on and this on top of the carry-on and that's it. I don't, I don't check in luggage when I'm traveling within the US. So this is really handy because of the size and how much it fits in here. Let's move on to how much fits inside of this bag. As you can see, it's already, it's filled because I traveled with it on the weekend and I decided to film this video right after. So you can see it fits so much. It's not very organized because I've been moving stuff, but this is what it looks like from the inside. So it has, once I empty this out, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So let's get started with what's inside my travel bag. So I have my sunglasses in their case. I have the jewelry pouch. I love to keep all my jewelry in this when I'm traveling. You can just get this off of 
I don't know, Amazon, anywhere. And this is what it looks like. I have all my, um, I have my vitamins in here as well as, you know, just ibuprofen, Benadryl, allergy stuff. This is just a cosmetic part that I got from a gift with purchase with Lancome years ago. And I still use it, but I love it for that purpose. We have our, this is the Gucci passport case. I love it. I use it to travel. I love putting in my boarding pass in here, all the credit cards that I need and my ID. So this is nice. Um, I have a water bottle. You can see it's still filled with water. I really need to clean out this bag. Um, a phone charger. So if it's a phone charger as well. Louis Vuitton mini pochette. I have mirror glosses, chapsticks in here, all of that good stuff in here. So I keep this on me all the time. What fits and what's really nice is that it fits my leather jacket. So I have my leather jacket in here because it's heavy and I don't want to put it in my carry-on. So I end up putting in here and as well if I get cold in the on the airplane, I can just put that on. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. This is a t-shirt that I had. You can see I literally just throw in everything in here. I have some teas, my boarding pass, and all of that. So I think it just fell out of that Gucci one. Some gum. The other thing that's really nice about this bag is that it fits my mini luxury handbags, okay? So you can see that I traveled with this bag on the weekend. And this one fits in my luggage bag, which is so nice. I don't have to stick it into my carry-on. I don't have to put it in a big luggage because I don't want it to get stolen. So I literally just put it on here and this is tiny and it fits. And I just put them with me in these, in my duffel bag, which is really nice. You can do that without a lot of that. So we have more teas because I love my teas, my vitamins, and then we have an AirPod and a book okay so this is what it looks like so we have you know plug adapter this is what it looks like from the inside okay so we have a zipper from the inside so this is nice to put in you know your card holder anything that you don't want to lose inside of this chaos and then this is what it looks like it's lined from the inside and it has this I like because like the bottom is like a cardboard and it keeps it structured, which is really nice. Not a lot of bags have that. I believe if you're buying the the speedy like 35, they're duffel bags. I don't know if they're that structured from the inside. I have never looked inside of them, but I don't know if they're that structured. But the structure from the bottom keeps it really nice. So look at that. So I just emptied the whole thing out. Look at the the size of this bag from the front and this is what it looks like from the back what you can do you can zip it from this side you can just clip it from the sides and then it would just have a completely different shape instead of like the you know the line it also has feet from the bottom which is really nice if you're putting it you know you're putting it underneath your seats and it has feet so it, that doesn't destroy the le the sides leather everyone this is all i have for this video honestly i think this is the most comfortable duffel bag ever it's so beautiful and it's more on the affordable side so if you don't want to pay for louis vuitton this is around 600 us dollars and i think it's a really good price for this type of leather and it's made in italy and i don't know i really love the quality of leather on this bag it's a gorgeous bag but I hope you enjoyed this video. I will try to find it online and link it in the description box below. I'm not sure if I'm going to be successful in that because as I told you, I bought it from Rome. But I will try. And thank you so much for watching this video. And we will talk next time. Bye, everyone.